I make about $500 to $1,000 every single day from my software company, ChatIQ AI. Uh, I don't know how to code, and I scaled it from zero to 10,000 users in less than 60 days. I've had multiple acquisition offers. I'm still running that business 12 months later. Uh, and in this video, I want to talk to you about my tech stack, how I got started as someone who can't code, and then also how I managed to get my first 100 users. When I first started, I built the entire product using a no-code tool, Bubble.io. So Bubble is an incredibly powerful tool. You can build a lot of stuff with bubble but you can't build the most complicated things and it's quite slow and there are a lot of problems with it but when you're getting started as someone who doesn't know how to code that is the best thing that you can do focus on a no code tool if you guys are interested in how to build no code software let me know down below in the comments and i can always do some more videos on that but essentially what i did is i had an idea for a product and I built a no-code solution. And the no-code solution was a very simplistic AI chatbot. I built this tool and I showed it to some businesses and it wasn't ready for production. There was no way that if they bought it, they would actually be able to use it, but I could build enough for a demo that I could show them. And I went onto LinkedIn, got a few people onto a demo call with me and every single one of them said, yes, we need this, this is very cool, how can I get started? So I then spent two more months developing that MVP, making it better, ready to then launch to TikTok. And that is what took me from zero to 10,000 users in less than 60 days. And I'll get to that in just a second. But now, about 12 months later, it's the 12 month birthday of my software tomorrow, depending on when I launched this video, April the 3rd, my 25th birthday was when I launched it. April the 3rd, my 26th birthday will be its first year that it's been running. And it's still going. I'm still using a lot of no code stuff in the tool, but I'm also using a lot of custom code. There's over about 1500 to 2000 lines of code now directly used for the brute work of the app. And all of this I wrote myself over this past year using ChatGPT to write it. I've been documenting this entire thing, by the way, on this camera, and I've uploaded a couple of vlogs already, so if you haven't seen those, go ahead and check them out. So my point is, in terms of the tech stack, everything changes as you're going on, but the one thing you need to make sure you're focusing on is getting to market at the right time. This product that I've launched, ChatIQ, at the moment is in a very competitive space. I understand this, I know this, and I know a lot of people are gonna comment that it's just a ChatGPT wrapper, but the point is, at the start, it was. And at the start, there were only five people, including me, creating the same product. Now there are thousands of people doing the same thing. I was able to establish myself very, very quickly right at the start. And I was only able to do that because I launched exactly at the moment that I knew that people needed the product. It was missing a lot of features and my competition was significantly better than me, but I was able to build the product quickly using a no-code tool and then very, very quickly iterate and improve upon that. But if I'd actually spent that time learning how to code to build the product myself with a 100% code solution, I would still be in that same position. I would still have a product that I hadn't launched, that I was still learning how to code. And at the end of the day, I wouldn't have a multi six figure a year software business. So the point is, do not not let things like tech stack get in the way of what it is you're doing. At the end of the day, us software developers, people like us who are trying to build software, enjoy the process of building products. That is why we do it. We forget that we're building it to make a business. And if you're trying to make money from it, if you want to be able to do it day to day for 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, you have to be able to make it work and make it make money. And that is why you need to use something just to whip it up very, very quickly. So now I've built the product, how did I then get my first 100 users? Well, it's actually pretty easy. All I did was I used my phone and I filmed the product and I posted those videos onto TikTok. And I literally just had, there was like one feature, you could upload custom data to your own chatbot. But there was one frustration that people had and I identified that frustration and made that the hook of my video. For example, when you talk to ChatGPT, there was a problem if you tried to put in too much text. Basically what I would do in my video is I would show off that problem, show the frustration that people had and then say the solution is to go to my website, upload the PDF that you're trying to upload, all of that data is now referenced by that chatbot. And now you can talk to that chatbot and it can answer questions based on that PDF. That was it. That was like the first feature. Beyond that, I started to add in new features like web scraping so you can scrape your entire website. Now it has an entire automated support ticketing solution into it, customizations, multiple chatbots, a whole host of additional features. But at the start, I focused on that one feature. And the reason I focused on that one feature was because I knew that's the one thing that people wanted. So the most important thing when you're trying to get your first 100 users is identify two things. One, what is the thing that people actually want from your product? How is it solving that problem? And the second thing is, how are you defining a user? Are you defining a user as someone who just signs up to your product? Or are you defining a user as someone who signs up to a free trial? 
regardless of how you do it, the same strategy is in place. You want to focus on organic content. Organic content is the best way for you to get started. And if you're looking for very quick, sharp, viral growth, you want to focus on short form content. I got one video that got 150,000 views. From 150,000 views, I had over 752 people sign up to my software and hundreds of people sign up to a free trial. A lot of them churned. Like a lot of people will sign up, test out the product and then leave. That's okay, but I knew that there would still be a percentage of those people who would be happy with the product, use it, embed it in their website, continue to use it, and pay for my product. And here's the key, when you're starting a business, you wanna go down two routes. One is the freemium model. So if you're doing a freemium model with software, people will then have to upgrade themselves. And if you're building an MVP, it's very unlikely that they're gonna do that. But if you do a free trial model where they sign up, they have to put in their credit card details. They've got two weeks to use your product and then they will actually start paying for it. If those people go down that route, you're more likely to get paying customers. And here's the cool thing. Those people will be happy to stick around and stay with you if you offer good customer support. So if you're able to talk to your users and learn from your users, and if you're using a no-code tool like Bubble, you can very, very quickly start to add in features that they need to make them feel valued and want to stay with your product. And that's what I did right at the start. I was automating my customer service with ChatIQ, and as time went on, I started to add features that I needed in my business. I started to learn from my customers, and as I added these features that I needed, it turns out my customers also needed those features. So very quickly, things start to snowball. And if you're looking for long-term growth, and if you're looking to build your software company over time, I'll do another video on that. And if you want to learn how to build a no-code software, let me know down below in the comments and I can do some more videos on that as well. And if you guys have a business and you're looking for a customer support solution, head to chatiq.ai or the link in the description and go ahead and start a free trial.